Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a regular to this channel, you know I don't do a whole lot of Unity content. Now, when they release new stuff, I cover it, of course, and sometimes if it makes sense to do a hands-on tutorial, I will do a hands-on tutorial with new stuff. But for general learning Unity, or here's how you do X in Unity, or whatever, nah, I don't cover it. And one of the main reasons is there's just so many people doing Unity tutorials. Some of them good, some of them less good, and on top of that, there are literally hundreds of books out there, dozens upon dozens of uh, online courses, you name it, the amount of material out there for learning Unity is staggering. And as of today, I am delighted that I am not in that space because Unity now is. Unity just launched learn.unity.com last week, I believe it was, and some of the stuff isn't new by any means. It's just reorganized into one spot. But this is their online learning portal. This is the place you go to learn Unity. And frankly, after checking it out for a while, it's all you need. Really, it is. If you're just starting out and you want to learn Unity, go to learn.unity.com, as you can see up here, and you get to this point. And this is more than enough to get you up and started learning Unity. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to jump in, take a look at what is here, what's in it for you, what one of the courses looks like, and it's going to impress you for, uh, well, spoilers, it's text-based. <laughs> that doesn't happen very much in this world. Um, so there is a random amount of content on here, but most of what I've seen is very, very good content. So without further ado, let's check out learn.unity.com. So here we are in the main page, and you see it's kind of broken down by different categories. We've got tutorials, which are like one-off. Here's how you do X. Here's how you make a ball drop with physics. Here's how you handle a mouse click, that kind of stuff. And some of those tutorials could in fact come from other parts, from other projects or courses within this one. On that topic, we've also got projects, so we're here, we'll go, we'll actually take a look. So here you go with your tutorials. The nice thing about tutorials is they're broken down by category. So you can filter out by uh, be beginner, intermediate, or advanced. There's not a lot of advanced content here yet, by the way. Uh, you can filter down by category or keyword. So if you want to learn about audio, you can filter down to just the audio tutorials. And you can filter down by the amount of time you're willing to dedicate to this. And then you see here, we got a number of different tutorials. Again, some of these are just sections in other pieces, but basic stuff. And here's your player character controller. Here's how you play audio. Um, um, and there's a ton of them and we'll just kind of keep going. But again, most of the stuff is pretty uh, beginner oriented and a lot of it again was existing content. Now where we start to get impressive though is when we get over into projects and then uh, courses. Um, now projects are complete beginning to end projects. Uh, and this is really what got me looking here today. So again, you can filter down and we've got several different projects. So we've got a 3D beginner project, a gameplay scripting project, an intermediate gameplay scripting project, 3D game kit light, Ruby's 2D uh, adventure. This is one I'm gonna look at today. They released this just last week and this is a top-down RPG using tile maps. Uh, the Unity Playground was released sometime back. The 2D game kit was released sometime back. Uh, 3D game kit was released. So uh, some of this, again, is just consolidating their existing courseware. Now some of these are going to be videos. Some of them are going to be text. Some of them are actually going to be a bit of both. Uh, but as you can see, there are an impressive number of complete end-to-end -end kits. So the one we we're talking about today, for example, is Rudy's Adventure. This is the just released top-down tile-based 2D RPG. And you see here are your various different categories. You can jump to them directly, or you can take the course in a guided manner. So I could say, well, I'd already done this once, like I already started it. Or we can sit here and go, okay, continue on, and, and it will bring you to where you were the last time. Again, again, this thing is slated to be 15 hours long almost. So you could find yourself coming back and going forward to it. But let's say we'll come in here, main character and first script. And here is the tutorial that comes with it. And again, this impresses the hell out of me because look at this, text. <laughs> How often do you actually see this? And then again, they also use animated GIFs or GIFs or GIFs or however you want to mispronounce it. So here are is literally a step-by-step, -step, here's how you do X, here's how you do Y. What I love about this is basically this is how I would write it. I love these kind of tutorials and they are very, very rare. So it's lovely to see Unity creating this kind of tutorial. Now again, some of these tutorials are going to be straight out text-based. Now another thing to notice here is if I flip on back, Da, 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 da. There is, I gotta go back one more. So when we came in here, there are also links here. So you see the 2D, the resources or the, like the sprites and sounds, etc., used in this project if you're gonna create it from scratch. Or you can go ahead and download the complete project. Now these are actually store links. So you see here, this is the 2D Beginner Complete course that was launched uh, 
April 16th, you'll see is the, the most current version of this guy. And this is what you get. So you see, it's actually really high quality content you're creating. This is all tile map run in the background and the full instructions on how you go about creating this game are there. Instructions on all the scripts that are controlling it are there as part of the course. But you see, it's nice quality assets. We'll go ahead and play this guy. You can see what kind of game you're actually gonna be creating. So this is one of the resources that they are making available. And I'm impressed. I, I think it's just, it's polished. It's as polished as just about any commercial course I've seen out there. And it doesn't really shirk away. Like it's simple, but it's pretty complete. So if you are looking to create this style of game, it does have the instruction you need to actually learn to create this kind of game. And of course, you've got all of your uh, your assets and everything else available here as part of the package. Now, again, there is nothing particularly new about that. They've been creating these kind of kits. The 2D game kit came out earlier last year and I covered it then. What's special here is how they're bundling it together with the learning material and all in one place and all searchable, sortable, and you name it. And again, the quality of what is here and the fact that some of this is actually available as text is really quite impressive. And again, you can do it chronologically. You can jump back in and this will take you in a guided approach. So then you go through and then when you're done, you say, okay, I'm done with this. And then you move on to the next step and then so on. So if you come back to the website in a week's time, just keep going, it will bring you to this part of the tutorial now. So you go on through it. Um, so that was, those were projects. So finally we have courses. These are more uh, focused in it. So you got uh, 2D game development, Unity Basics, uh, Unity Basics again, performance optimization. Um, the, 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 the lap over between projects and courses uh, it's a little bit more vague to me. Uh, it's very similar stuff, and there's actually not a whole ton of them yet. Um, but I think these are more just topical versus these are more of a complete project. I think that's really kind of the difference there. And then finally, go in here and you've got topics, and this is basically just a drill down of everything. So if I'm interested in audio specific projects, click in audio, and it'll filter down to just the tutorials or material about that particular subject. And that's it. Uh, that is Unity Learn. It, it's, it was, again, I believe they just put this all together last week, other than, the, you know, a lot of this material already existed. But I have to say, if I was a bookmaker or a course maker or, you know, one of those things, especially enter to the uh, introductory courses, people starting to learn Unity, I would be kind of going, oh, crap. Because frankly, I... I if you are looking to you learn Unity 3D and you came to me, it's like, where should I go to learn this? Should I go buy a book? Should I sign up for a course? Should I? It's hard to say anything other than, nah, just head on over here, learn.unity.com. They've nailed it. And, and they really kind of have. They did a great job here. So that's kind of where I'm ending things. Uh, there's just a bunch of materials here, some complete end-to-end -end courses with some really high-quality assets to get you up and started with Unity or to teach you specific subjects in Unity. And it does make Unity exceptionally easy to learn. And it, it's a good site. They've done a good job with it, and I'm impressed in that manner. And so I figured I would share it with you. Now, in the end, I do finish things off with a bit of question for you. If you'd started out learning Unity, or when you started out learning Unity, did you use a book? Did you use a tutorial series on the internet? Uh, did you pay for a course? And if this was available at the time, would you have done this instead? Curious to hear what you think. Also, have you gone through any of these courses? Do you have any recommendations, any feedback? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Let me know those things in the comments down below as well. All right, that's it for now. That is uh, learn.unity.com, the new learning resource portal from Unity Technologies, and uh, also the new uh, top-down 2D Ruby's Adventure uh, game kit. Uh, do be sure to check it out. It's some real high-quality stuff. And that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.